Barakata Yahoo, Barakata Yahoo Shai, Call Hello Imla Yahoo, Bahasham Yahoo Shai, Barakha Hakwadash, which means all praises to Yahweh's name is the Heavenly Father, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world angrily called Jesus Christ. Barakha Hakwadash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Um, I'm the brother Mathathi from the Great Millstone, the branch out in Des Moines. And um, as you can see, the title of the lesson is entitled Hebrew Israelites, Are You Ashamed, Man? You know, because in the, the last, uh, 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 what, well, in 2019, you know, there was a, a, a lot of... Uh, um, Guys denying the miracles, a lot of guys uh, uh, switching up, uh, uh, changing this, changing that. A lot of guys talking about uh, uh, Paul's writings is, is is not spiritually inspired, or or guys talking, uh, sitting down, having talks with Esau, talking about how, you know, they don't feel as if uh, 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 um, Israel's superior, or so forth and so on, man. You know, you just got guys just just just. Just speaking their own mind, and they're not uh, uh, sticking firm to our heritage. They're not sticking firm to uh, 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 the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let's start out with this. This is the book of um, Mark, chapter eight, and the last verse, verse thirty-eight. It says, "Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous." In this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father and with the holy angels. So whoever is ashamed of these words and of this gospel in this present evil world, man, hey, the Lord is going to be ashamed of you, man. You see? You got guys that, uh, 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 like the scripture says, they want to trim their way to seek love. You know, they want to uh, 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 water down the doctrine, so to speak. They want to uh, uh, be politically correct. They're afraid to um to um to confess certain things as it is written. Matter of fact, I think it's Acts. Yeah, it's Acts twenty. Grab this real quick. This is the book of uh chapter Act chapter Acts. Uh, the book of Acts chapter twenty, and. Verse 26, it says, wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the heavenly father, man. You see, when you go into that word son, shunned, it's a uh, hoop ostello, hoop ostello. It means to draw back, let down, lower, uh, to withdraw of a timid person, to withdraw oneself, i.e. to be timid, to cover, shrink of those who. Who from timidity hesitate to avow what they believe to be unwilling to utter from fear. So there's guys who are scared to uh, 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 confess the gospel in its entirety, man. They might be scared of their image of how people view them. They might be scared of how the women have viewed them. They might be scared of how Esau and these other nations have viewed them, man. You see? But Paul said what? <laughs> a key thing. Paul said, you got a lot of niggas who's denying Paul's writings, man. It says, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the heavenly father, man. And that's going into what? That's going back into how Yahweh Shai said this. this. Let's go read this again. Mark 8 and 38. It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Man, you see, because as it is written, this is the book of uh, Hebrews 10 and 7, which is another one in, in Psalms 40 and 7. But it says, Then I said, I, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. So this whole book is our Lord, man. So if you're ashamed of this book, if you're ashamed of our heritage, if you're ashamed of our Lord, the Lord is going to be ashamed of your ass, man. You see? Because the scriptures tell us this. This is the book of, uh, Salakia. I wasn't trying to do that. This is the book of, um, 
Ciroc. Chapter 42. And we start at 1. It says, If these things be not thou ashamed, and accept no person to sin thereby. See, there's a lot of cats who, 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 who are perverting judgment, man, because they're, they're accepting of persons, man. It says, If these things be thou not ashamed, right? Verse 2. Of the law of the Most High and his covenant and of judgment to justify the ungodly, man. So don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to condemn Esau. Don't be ashamed to condemn two-thirds of all people, man. You see? Don't be ashamed to speak righteousness, to speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> like they tell you in Esau's court system, but it's all bullshit, man. It says, so don't be ashamed of the law and uh, of the Most High and his covenant. You see? Because why? Because the covenant consists of what? This is the uh, the book of uh, Sirach 17 and verse 11. It says, it says, besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. He made an, he made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments, man. So this was given unto us. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Nobody else was included in this, man. And, and, and we shouldn't be ashamed to say, look. You have no part or lot in this matter, man. Our forefathers wasn't ashamed to tell them goddamn heathens that they couldn't build with them. You see? The Lord said that he have separated us. He have severed us from the rest of these people, man. He said we are, we, we are above all nations on this earth, man. You should carry yourself as such. These nations are not equal with us. Are you ashamed of that? Goddamn equality, man. We are better than every other person on this planet, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are better. Why? Because Yahweh Basham Yahweh the power that made heaven and earth, he made us better, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy 33 and 4. It says, Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob, man. So these words is our heritage. Are you ashamed of that? This is the book of first Chronicles. This is our, our king glorified in the covenant, man. Our king glorified in, in, in the strength of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And you got niggas ashamed of that, man. This is first Chronicles 16. Let's start at, uh, let's start at seven. It says, then on that day, David delivered first this Psalm to thank Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. How do we do that, man? By proclaiming these words. You see, in the scripture. Let's grab that. Oh, it's already here. It's the Sirach 42 and 15. I will now remember the works of the Lord and declare the things that I have seen. And the words of the Lord are his works. So Yahweh Shah said, whoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words. See, because Yahweh Shah came bears witness of the father in the things that the father have done. You understand? So therefore, we're speaking these same things. And the words in the book is the works of our heavenly father, man. And we are witnesses that he is the true and living power. And he have chosen one nation. Matter of fact, let's get let's finish this. It says, I will now remember the works of the Lord and declare the things that I have seen in the words of the Lord, all his works. Let's get second address. What is that? Second address five, if I'm not mistaken. Salaki, bear with me. Or is it the fourth chapter? I just search it up. Yeah, it's second address five and 23, 22. And my soul recovered the spirit of understanding. And I began to talk with the most high again and said, O Lord, that bearers rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof. Thou hast chosen thee one only vine. And you read uh, 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 John, the 15th chapter, let you know that that vine is Yahweh Shai and all those that's within Yahweh Shai are chosen within him. You see? Verse 24, and all because we're the vine of the Lord, man. We're accepted through our Lord Yahweh Shai. 
And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. And what's that? That's the land of Israel. You see? And it said in the book of Deuteronomy that, uh, um, um, uh, no, it's in Maccabees about how he chose. Let me, let me, let me see if I can find that because I can't even word it right. This is, um, Salakia, so bear with me. Um, people's sake. I wonder if I looked that up already. Yep. It's 2 Maccabees 5 and 19. Nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. You see? So the Lord chose Israel, the best land on this earth, to place his people. Why? Because that's who he's chosen. You understand? So let's go back. Second Edris 5 and 24. And, and we are not to be ashamed of this, man. It says, and of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. See? And this is all spiritual um, 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 analogies, man. Because hey, hey, the, 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 the Lord's favorite uh, uh, tree is the vine. His favorite land is Israel. His favorite flower is the lily, right? But these are all symbolic for the nation of Israel, man. More importantly, the elect. But we just keep going. Verse 25. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. What's that? That's the Jordan. And of all builded cities, there thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all, man. You understand? So we are not to be a, a, ashamed of that, man. Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shah has set his love upon us. You see? And we shouldn't be uh, uh, afraid to proclaim that unto the ends of the earth, man. Let's get this in, uh, what is that? Um, is this Sirach the 33rd chapter? This is Sirach 33 and 10. It says, and all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of earth. And much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. Yeah, it says that he divided the uh, 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 the bounds of the people according to the, uh, uh, matter of fact, what is that, Deuteronomy 32 and 8? Where am I? Okay, I got to remember where I'm at. Let's get um Deuteronomy 32 and 8, I believe it is. Yep, it's Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, man. And we should glory in that, man. Hello, Yah. You see? Let's go back. It's Sirach 33. And eleven, in much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified and set near himself. Let's, let, let, let's, who is that? Who is that? We ought not to be ashamed of this, man. This is, um... I know it's a scripture. Oh, it's right here. I'm tripping. This is uh, Leviticus 20 and 26. It says, let me see if I should start up. Okay. Verse 26. And ye shall be holy, separated, sanctified unto me. For I, am Yahweh, for I, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, am holy. And have severed you from other people that ye should be mine, man. The word severed means divided. You understand? What did the Lord do? This is the book of uh, 
Deuteronomy 7 and 6, and there's plenty of scriptures. It says, For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. And we proclaim this openly and, 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 and boldly, man. This is the part of the gospel. This is the good news that salvation has come to Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And judgment has come to the rest of the world, man. That's why Yahweh Shah said, whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, the Lord is going to be ashamed when he cracked those clouds, man. Let's go back. Sirach. 33 12 some of them have thee blessed and exalted and some of them he sanctified and set near himself but some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places man and that's just what it is you see the lord cursed uh, uh canaan he fucked them up and, and, and kicked them out of our land you see and ultimately esau edom is is, is the cursed seed upon this earth man and he's going to be turned out of his place he's going to be eradicated from off this earth Let's go back. Let's go back to uh, our king boasting in the might of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, as we should. Let's go back to uh, he was a man after the Most High's heart, right? This is um, First uh, Chronicles sixteen and seven. Then on that day, David delivered first this psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. You see. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works. And what's the part of his wondrous work of how he delivered us out of Egypt, man? How he fucked every last one of those Egyptians up. From the one that, uh, that, that, uh, from the servants to the lowest, poorest Egyptian, all the way to the king sitting on the throne, man, for the things that they've done unto the Israelites. And that's coming back. Verse 10, glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them that like it. let the heart of them rejoice that seek the lord seek yahweh basham yahweh shai and his strength seek his face continually and what's that that's been what seeking his face is this knowledge it's this word seeking yahweh shai we read earlier how yahweh shai is he came in a volume of the book because uh, 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 only yahweh shai is worthy to stand in the presence of the heavenly we're not worthy enough man so therefore the lord is seeing us through yahweh shai so in order to seek the Most High's face, we have to seek Yahweh Shah, which is this knowledge, which is this word. Remember his marvelous works that he have done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Yeah, man. Remember how he gave nations for us. Matter of fact, let's get that. See, you, you, you should be uh, 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 humbled and honored that the power that created everything is for us, man. Don't let this fucking world make you ashamed of our heritage, of our Lord, our power, our strength. Don't let these niggas who, 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 who shun to declare the gospel, who are afraid and draw back, who trim us their way, who hold back their sword. Who want to take parts of the Bible out all oh, this, this, this scripture and that scripture and no, see, this man is not inspired, but it's in the Bible, though, niggas, you crazy. You got guys that's trying to take out, uh, 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 um, take out writings of a whole man who, 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 whose majority of writings cover this New Testament. See, these is guys that's showing that they're ashamed of our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. They're showing it by their, even though they, 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 they claim to call upon the names of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai through their actions. They're showing that they are ashamed of the Lord, our covenant, and His words, man. Now I forgot what I was getting. Um, yep, the water Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Isaiah 43 and 1. But now thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. You see, our power is going to protect us, man. We just got to have faith and, and, and confidence in him. Verse 3, 
For I am the Lord thy power, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life, man. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. You understand? So the Lord said he's going to give people for our life, man. What does it say? Let me find this precept real quick. You're not ashamed of this, man. See, in this pre in this present evil world, they'll make you, oh, well, you think it's right that somebody should. Yes, 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 it is. You see? Because according to the book of Isaiah, we laid our uh, our bodies down for these heathen to walk all over us, man. So you think there's not a recompense? Proverbs 21 and 18. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the, transgre and the transgressor for the upright, man. And that's called that, that's called equity. That's called balance. It says it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And so, Lockie, I'm getting excited. I'm slurring my words. <laughs> you know? Hey, 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 which is a beautiful thing, man. Fuck this English language. Anyway, this is back in uh, 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 1 Chronicles 16 and 12. It says, remember his marvelous works that he have done, right? What he've done for us, man. The nations that he's took down for us. Read 2 Ezra, the, uh, uh, the first chapter. His wonders in the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord, our power. His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham and of his oath unto Isaac and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto thee, well, uh, saying, un let me slow down, it's locking. saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance. When ye were but few, even a few and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So there's judgment coming unto these heathens, man. Sing unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh all the earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation, man. And it says salvation shall come to Zion. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations, man. You see, this is this is a psalm. This is a prayer. This is a song of our king who's praising the works of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and what he's done for us. You see, and when I read that, the precept that pops in my head is this, because we should we should follow that the, uh, 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 um, that same mindset, man. This is the book of. Uh, Second Edges 2 and 35, it says, be ready to the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Yeah, man. It says that the light has risen upon us. You understand? Verse 36, flee the shadow of this world. See, a lot of guys are, 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 are comfortable in the shadow of this world, man. The scriptures tell us to flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly, man. And that's what all our righteous forefathers did. One of them being who? Paul. That guys try to try to try to try to disannul or guys try to try to put him on, 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 on the back like 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 he ain't an important man of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, I testify my Savior openly. Lo, he come in the volume of the book. That means Paul's let us too. From there, let's get the book of Sirach. 22 and 25. It says, I will not be ashamed to defend a friend. Neither will I hide myself from him, man. So we're going to stand boldly in the face of those that, that have afflicted us. And we're going to tell you the truth. You understand? Our friend is Yahweh Shah who 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 they who they a uh, uh, bad mouth and talked against for thousands of years, man. So we're going to defend our friend. You understand? We're going to defend our heritage. This is the book of, I'm, I'm gonna end it on this, man. And this just popped in my mind cuz a a, a a lot of uh, I ain't gonna say a lot of niggas, but there's some some 
forward ass niggas out there who want to uh, 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 shun Paul. This is uh, Galatians 1. I'm going to start at 10. It says, For do I now persuade men or the Most High? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Yahweh Shai. Exactly. You got guys that's pleasing men. That's why they're uh, ashamed of the gospel. That's where they're ashamed of the covenant. That's why they uh, uh, um, uh, cutting out certain things of the scriptures here or, or not mentioning certain things there. You see? Verse 11. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai. So the words that Paul was saying was the words that Yahweh Shai uh, uh, was saying. And that goes back to the scripture we started with in Mark, uh, the eighth chapter. Him that is ashamed of me and of my words, uh, 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 he's going to be ashamed of you, man. You see? So we're speaking the same words that Yahweh Shai was speaking. You understand? Paul is speaking the same thing that Yahweh Shai was speaking. So therefore, if you're ashamed of Paul, that means you're ashamed of, uh, of Yahweh Shai, which means you're ashamed of the Most High, man. You see? So stand boldly in the grace that has been given us, man. The mercy has come unto us, the nation of Israel, man. So don't be ashamed of that. Don't be ashamed to tell these heathens, man, that we're better than them. You understand? And do it in subtility. You ain't got to be at your job. I'm better. I'm Israel. Uh, no, nah, man. You know, a true Israelite is one inwardly. And, and, and being one inwardly, being renewed in the mind, meaning you move in subtility. It says, be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. That's why it's the importance of studying. That's why it's the importance of watching the apostles and elders and the men that came before you. That's why it's, it's the importance of giving yourself wholly unto this word, man. So you could become wise, as it says in Proverbs, the first chapter, to teach the young man subtility, to teach them knowledge and discretion, man. So we can know how to move in this present evil world. So that's all I had through the spirit, man. Lord willing, I pray that I was edifying. The Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Barakah Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.